All right. So the uh, we're going to talk about the large furnace base here. So obviously, everyone knows the single large furnace base. With the whether you use squares or triangles, that's supposed to have squares on the outside of it. So it's supposed to mimic that. I don't know why I did two triangle ones. Um, and that's super nice and super easy. It does have a single large furnace in it. It's incredible. It just uses this footprint. This is just like a dummy. And but one issue is when you try to do multiple large furnaces in the same kind of easy method just for the roof conditionals you do encounter uh not really not really nice uh footprint design for that um, but we do have a nice easy triple large furnace base and i did i don't want to downgrade everything to wood and upgrade that but either way triple it's got a sheet metal roof uh triple large furnace base incredibly nice incredibly easy you can break the square foundations and add up to six oil refineries in here as well as the three large furnaces as well as each nook and cranny here you could fit tons of small furnaces and electric furnaces for a true manufacturing smelting base in a clan i did have everything in the clan upgraded version with a hqm roof and all sheet metal with two sheet metal walls uh two honeycombed uh, for like tc and like the loot rooms and incredibly easy we only have 44 h2m upkeep and 2100 frags so incredibly easy and you can fit the three large furnaces get some wood make it look nice and uh three large furnaces and i just didn't place them far back enough in the corner you gotta really push it we'll just redo it when we build it um and get the six oil refineries in there um but go ahead and see how that looks incredibly nice and easy triple large furnace base super simple to build you can just start with a normal two by one with your tc and a triangle like so um if you so choose or you could just start like this with a single one by one with your tc in there because that will be honeycomb and just go ahead and slap your tc down and you just want your entrance uh i usually do it like this just so they have to go through two doors to get to the, the tc wing and the layout footprint of the triple large furnace base is a single triangle with two squares off of that single triangle. Then we're gonna go and put one triangle on each side of the end square. Upgrade those. And again, this can be used as honeycomb or for storage, but we're gonna use it for honeycomb. We're just gonna seal everything off there. And that's not the right floor. And we do need access to our large furnaces. So on this one, we'll have access to both wings. And this is this will be exposed above the roof. So we do want that upgraded higher than the rest of the base. And uh, we do want our viewpoint or our access point for this large furnace here because we don't have one on that TC. And we want to just create an empty hexagon and upgrade the outer triangles as shown here empty twig hexagon upgrade the outer triangles just like this on each of the three wings and then of course we're going to use these as honeycomb One thing is, I usually just jump up from the large furnaces, but you can you can leave an empty tile if you want actual jump up roof access. You want to honeycomb these, cover the soft sides. You do need it for the roof conditional. You do need all the walls there, or at least the outside walls. You can't just leave these soft side exposed. Um, then once we uh, once we finish every once we finish all the walls here. I don't know why I'm still in twig. Anyway, uh, go ahead and get up on the roof. And you're going to put the roof pieces in this specific pattern. Uh, but first, obviously, you're going to get your large furnaces. And let me just complete it. Only like just the floor tiles there. All right, so get your large furnaces. And again, we're going to want these as... We'll, we'll do the... Uh, We'll do six oil refineries so let's demolish these uh these foundations here and you can do that pick that out or something if you left it stone um if you do want all six oil refineries in there we'll just try that break the twig place all three large furnaces as far back as possible 
as straight as possible. And I need another large furnace. All the way back in there. Break that wall. Triple frames on the center. Again, just do normal, normal builds with garage doors and foundations if you're uh, not wanting all six oil refineries. And now comes the fun part. We're going to put a single wall frame in the center of the two, two by one on all three sides. Then we're going to put a wall here. This is just a partition each side. We just want one on the opposing side. Never put two touching. It's going to make your roof stick through or make it stick through your roof. You're going to put these walls on each of the rabbit ears of the hexagon. And now it is just roof spam time. So we're going to put squares on all of the squares, square roof pieces on the three ends. And I'm going to triangle spam everything else. And this is going to completely peel off the outer edge of our base, the out, outer rim. Just like that. And then we'll come in here to our exposed triangle and put three square roofs on that and we have our complete triple large furnace base and you can go ahead and upgrade everything. And just like that, let's get our oil refineries. And if we place it right, which hopefully we did. We should be able to get all six. Be able to get two. Be able to get two on each side. Oh wait, we can't have it. Can't have it with the elephant trunk facing towards the other one. Uh, mess suck at the placement. There. There's one side. All right, so we got everyone but this side, which means this side works though, because it wouldn't fit. Uh, come on, come on, need to rotate. All right, but you get the idea. You could fit the six. Um, super nice, super easy. Go ahead and upgrade everything, clan level, and uh, yeah, nice 15 rocket, triple large furnace, smelting base, but. 20 small furnaces, 6 electric furnaces, 6 oil refineries, 20 electric furnaces, 20 small furnaces. Smelt a box of every resource in one hour. Super nice and uh, super easy. And obviously one side would have a front door.